Allison Resendiz with Food Service Equipment Reports TV. We are at the NASM Show 2019 in Orlando, Florida. We're going to explore some great products from food service equipment manufacturers. Pentair Ever Pure's booth with Courtney Scherenberg to learn about the Conserve HE3 High Efficiency Reverse Osmosis System. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, so this is the first RO system that is IoT connected in the food service industry. What that means is it's connected via the internet so you can get real-time data for everything that's going on in your facility. You can get um, incoming TDS monitoring, any sort of pressure drops, filter life, when to change it, if it's clogged, things like that. If you have anything going on with any of your pumps, whether it's up here in the system or down in the tank, it will let you know. Okay, and it'll alert you by smartphone, laptop? Uh, yes, all of the above. Okay. So actually, it, it be, because it's internet connected, it's not an app or anything like that, you can get it on your phone, you can get it on your computer, um, and you can also have it on any sort of portable devices. Okay, great. So it allows you to have... Um, either a corporate office, mm -hmm. like if you have a, uh, a chain of, of locations and you have multiple units, someone can look, like maybe in the service industry, can look and see what's going on in all their facilities, make sure all the ingredient water is to the recipe spec that they want it to be, or see if there's any alerts that come up. And it can alert them, hey, this, this facility has something wrong. Um, and then if they have their own service techs, the service techs can see what's going on on their devices as well. Mm -hmm. And um, you can diagnose that way. And then the, the nice thing is, uh, when someone then goes out to the unit, they can get into the system on the actual piece of equipment and then on their phone, and it'll they, they can use that that as a tool to diagnose the problem, mm -hmm. and then have the uh, equipment, hopefully the part ready to go if, okay. uh, if they know if they know. So it, it helps with that that time. Okay. Time and saving. What application? Do you put the system in? So this would be ideal for coffee applications okay. and espresso applications because it gives you an, ingre an ingredient water. You can okay. really dial in the TDS to get the taste profile you're looking for for coffee or espresso. It's also great for steam applications um, where you really need to make sure you're monitoring for scale and corrosion of your equipment. Um, and you can use it for ice and beverage as well. So if you have certain flavor profiles in your incoming water that you don't want in your in your fountain beverage, this would get that out. Um, it also helps make very clear cubes for your ice. Okay. So pretty much any food service application, you can use this too when the water is so out of range that you're, we're trying to dial that back in to get what we need for that application. Okay. And what sets it apart from other competitors' versions of reverse osmosis systems? What, well, what really sets us apart are a handful of things. It is expandable, mm -hmm. so you can go from having one membrane, mm -hmm. which does uh, 440 gallons a day, just the membrane itself. Now, now, if you were to blend in and add a little bit, um, blend in your TDS depending on what you're trying to do, uh, then that that would go up from there. But you can you can double that and add a second membrane back here, where um, you can you can double the, the output. Okay. It's also different because we have an atmospheric tank, mm -hmm. so this is not a pressurized system. Um, a lot of tanks out there they have a, a bladder in them where it's pressurized. Uh, this one doesn't have that. Real estate in the back of a restaurant is very limited. Mm -hmm. And with a lot of RO systems, they, they're, they're, uh, especially some of our older models, they are a little, a little deeper than this. The tanks, you have to find places for them to go. So this allows you a lot more, a lot more um, uh, versatility with the space saving. Uh, you also have the internet uh, capabilities, so the IoT connectivity, um, which is the remote monitoring piece of it. Uh, you can have a water softener. We have a specific water softener that we, we offer with this um, called the 91TS Twin Tank Twin Sensor Softener. So this can be connected to the softener and let you know if you have run out of salt or if there's something going on with your softener as well. Okay. Because a water softener is very ideal to have plumbed into a, a reverse osmosis system so that you can um, extend the life of your membranes okay. and keep them safe from scaling and things like that. So this is our um, 9100 TS uh, twin tank, twin sensor, connected softener. So it is actually connected, the IoT connected as well. So you can connect that to the, the RO, which would then give you more data 
about um, about what's going on with your full system. If the salt tank is low, or or, or the the brine tank is low of salt, I'm sorry, uh, then you would be able to know that that's going on. Um, or if there's something going on with with the softener itself, it would give you alerts there as well. And what does it all do for the the quality of the beverage in the end? If, you, if we're talking about coffee and espresso, for mm -hmm. instance, there's certain minerals that are in the water that may over extract or under extract your coffee. Mm -hmm. which would bring out either a bitterness or too much oil or not enough crema. So there's definitely a lot of things that are going on with the extraction process and the chemistry of making coffee. So when you dial in your TDS, your total dissolved solids, you're actually um, taking whatever that incoming mineral content is and then bringing it back to a level that makes good coffee. So that's where we get the ingredient quality water. Um, it's, an, it's a recipe quality. So if we know that for coffee we need so much calcium and so much magnesium and so much bicarbonate, but not things um, that are going to bring up too much or too much acidity. We don't want too much alkalinity. We don't want our pH to be too high. This would help us get to where we want to be to make that good, that good cup of coffee. So important to the end user. Very. I understand. Very. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, You're Courtney. You're welcome.